Okay, well, let's see how the happiness has changed. Okay, cooked chicken is, uh, house, percent of houses happily supplied with item. Nice. We are not bringing over beef, but that's fine. Have a look over here. There we are. Very nice. And the meat stew brings out in a whopping 35 each. Uh, whereas the cooked chicken brings in eight. But yeah, this, we're now going to be making stupendous amounts of money. Also, I completely forgot about those while I was waiting for more to be made. But that is going to uh, cause a bit of a run on my <laughs> metals, I'll be honest. But that is fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. Let's have a look. Seeing a nice rise there. Very nice rise. And the alicoins, I mean, it's going to go up drastically now, but uh, it's increasing by about three, uh, two, two and a half thousand. Red coins, it's going up by about 400. Blue coins, it's going up by about uh, 100. And purple coins, it's not going up. What? Why? What is happening? Uh, why is this caravan only trying to take wards? Hmm. Enchanted box, please. Also enchanted box here as well. Also, why was this not... Pro oh! Yeah, we're not getting any... Uh, any... runoff... Uh, reinforced planks. I should probably set up a little industrial area just to make reinforced planks. They're that commonly used. Really, really commonly used at this point. But yeah, no, that's, that's amazing. Look at that. <laughs> We've got ridiculous supplies. All the time. All of the supplies. Why is the veg still not moving? Oh... We set up for veggie stew. It's probably got chicken or something on it, hasn't it? Yep. Okay, that was uh, my bad once again. Not sure why that one ended up with chicken. Oh wait, I I recall now why I uh, set that up in error. There we go. All sorted. Right. We're in a fairly nice position. Meat-wise, oh, oh, we're doing amazingly. Cooked fish, doing good. Yep, we'll probably see, start seeing cooked chicken accruing. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. And up to 130% bonus happiness. Uh, we're going to start running out of coal soon, though, which is not great. But, uh, how are we doing for that? Yeah, 130 I could run, let's make sure that the steam, yeah, steam is connected up correctly. All right. Well then, time for us to go and find our uh, little fire temple and start working on it. Fire temple needs fire ether and mana crystals to work. It consumes the mana crystals to produce a fire crystal. So, you know, the amount of mana crystals you're popping in there, it's going to... Uh, you're not going to get those back, but you're going to get an equal amount of fire crystals back. So, you know, you've got to manage the amount of production, basically. At this stage, I'm starting to think a packer would be better for my minecart. But we'll see. I could have a, uh, a cart from over here run down. But this is going to be a bit of a, a chonky build for us. We're now properly into magic. We've only slightly been into magic previously. Right, we're going to need a elemental refinery to make the ether. Now, you can make this incredibly dense, but for the sake of showing you clearly what I'm doing, I'm going to leave these much further apart than they need to be. Um, this will create fire ether 
feed her into the silo, silo will feed her into the fire temple. I like having a silo between them. Now, to give you an idea of how you would make it super close, is you'd put it there, you'd grab a grabber, <laughs> you'd place that there. You wouldn't need to have the grabber on this side because it's facing that way. And with ether and the like, you can just do this. Womp. There we go. This spins out and in. Hopefully, that isn't too difficult to follow. If it is, I'll spread them out much more again. Uh, just let me know. And so that will accept fire ether. Now, we need mana power here, not mana crystals. Important difference there. You need a, a regular supply of mana crystals to keep this running. Uh, is there a regular supply of mana crystals nearby? Uh, there kind of is. We could be over there mining it if we wanted to. But we've already got this little minecart set up, so I'm disinclined to do so. I think what would be nicer is having another little minecart over here, delivering them down, down this way. And zoom in. Now, if I want to shift a lot more material than I'm currently moving, I'm going to allow that minecart to do its thing, but I'm actually going to break the, the area down here. I may even move this away. And because we're going to use a packager now. Now, unfortunately, I am starting to run low on peeps. And that's not a th good thing to run low on. Actually, we're going to move this one back by one. Something like that. Now, the way the packager works is anything put in there will be packaged. Like, it can store packageable items a certain amount and then you tell it to pack it into a crate and as it gets it it pops it in a crate it's really quite simple um now each one of these crates contains four crystals but they themselves now occupy the same room as a crystal in a minecart so you can quadruple the capacity of your minecarts by doing this And I just want the uh, rails to just come on up here. Let me get that in the right way. So. Dark. Like that. Then. Rail stop. I wanted to take from this when it's available. And with that, this cart will now eventually start picking up crates. Now, the thing with that is when you're offloading crates, you need another packager to t take them out of a crate and into a box. So, you know, there's that as well. Um, at the moment, that's going to make things a little bit awkward over on this side, but... Um, I could look into elemental jewelry, really, but... You know what? I may as well. It'll give my peeps something to do. Well, I'm taking that away. I don't want you to offload there anymore. What I wouldn't mind doing... Is we'll just move this a little bit further along, just so that my uh, wagons aren't confused by anything. And uh, my caravans, rather. Pop it there, we'll be fine. Can I get the road? There we go. Damn it. Hmm. How weird. I was certain that I was getting the road. Oh, now it wants to get <laughs> Damn it, game. Make up your mind. It just wants to play silly buggers, I think. There we are. Right. I need to lower the area back here. Just enough to fit in another packager. But I'm really close to not having any more room. And I would like this to unpack from crates. So as it accepts crates, it'll unpack them. 
And then these crystals can simply be uh, funneled down. Oops, did I get the wrong ones? Yes, I did. I'm straight in there. So, we should see. Can't offload in there because I'm not telling it to accept any crates right now, but. Um, what I will do is I will quickly use a conveyor to help offload the crystals out of this one. Then I'll make a rail stop that will allow my wagon, uh, my uh, minecart to offload into it. So, move over there. Wait for the minecart to drop off the crystals. And I'll move it back, let it empty out. And from then on, the minecart will be just bringing along um, packaged crystals. Yeah. Now, what I would ultimately like is for the packaged... Well, I mean, I can have the packaged crystals over here unpacked and then sent in either direction. Or I can have this minecart bring the packaged crystals and have another silo that holds the packaged crystals and then dispatch those down there it, it's really up to you how you how you plan it um with a line this long i could just have the the line go down here first and then come back up so if it doesn't need to offload any crystals down here down here it offloads them up there um but there's our first bunch of packaged crystals and this will now unpack them, load them into the silo. This one's empty. Great. Let's move it. Uh, we should be good. But th that allows us to move significantly more crystals at a time, basically. I think a second railroad going in this direction would be a good idea, though. Oh, take care, sweet orange bunny. Have a nice sleep. Now, we're going to need to find... Oh, do the packages... Oh, maybe the packages don't actually require people in them. That would be quite nice to find out. Uh, we're going to need mana crystals down here, just regular mana crystals. So let's move this one since it's already set up for that. And we can top up a very small little recharge loop, a local recharge loop, and drop off mana crystals in here at the same time. Should be fairly easy to set up, though I will need to use logic to do it. Let's build the transmitter and mana receiver first. So transmitter will exist here. Pop it out. Yeah, we'll pop it there. The receiver. I like to have small discrete uh, charging and recharging stations where I can. And then we'll build a couple of recharges. Three is more than enough, I've found. For almost any situation. And again, the crystals, once they're here, can pass quite happily along. There we go. Now, for the silo here, we want to check if this mana transmitter has any excess crystals in it. Because as we've seen with the other mana charger that we've got, this one tends to have a stock. If it has a stock of mana crystals, I shouldn't drop off any more mana crystals into it. Um, those should be reserved for feeding the fire temple when it needs them. So let's go ahead and build the logic for that. 
We want an inventory center. Pulling the inventory from here. Uh, offset to this. We want a math block. We want that to feed into this. If this is less than, let's say if it's less, oh, there we go, we've finished that, marvellous. Let's put a, an arbitrary number in. If there are less than five mana crystals just sat in this, then I want this to be true. So at this point, it'll check the inventory, it'll see that there's zero mana crystals, um, or should do. Um, so that will feed on into this one. This is now less than five, and it'll pass out a signal to tell the uh, charger to uh, turn on the, let's have a look, the pusher. I have a pusher down here, and this will feed into that. If this is less than five, so if this inventory changes to less than five, then it'll become uh, true, and that'll turn on. Whether this will evaluate to, to false, um, Normally, we'll we'll have a look, but I think it should. So once again, we'll have... It's going that way. But otherwise, I want it to feed into the temple down here. And that should output all we need. Now I just need to make the mana pipes and we're good to go. So we want that to come over here charge it and then discharge the minor pipes there we are logic time to drink oh no don't do a logic uh, don't do a drinking game based on when, whether i'm playing around with logic or not. you will die it is no furthermore we can control the whether or not this uh Minecart takes a journey to drop off any uh, crystals down here based on a little logic as well. So let's bring this all the way down. Something like this, I think. Let's just try and line it up a bit better. About there it would be. Now I'm going to move it across just so I can fiddle with the wall there. Oh, I can't, unfortunately. That's a bit disappointing, but okay. Let's have that there. Put this cross. I guess we'll, we'll have that, actually. Right, so we want this to unpackage four. Yeah. Uh, should that be being done, then I want this to start dropping down a bit another one and we should be able to very quickly reach the level that we want oops there we go right with that done then Another path, shoot, just coming out from there. I'm connecting up. Right then. Now from here, we should be able to just connect up a little uh, little rail line that is controlled based on whether this has uh, a stock above a certain certain amount. So once again, into compute blocks, we want an inventory center right there. We want another math block. This one should be, once again, if this is less than, let's say, let's put a nice big number here, though, less than 50. So if it's less than half full, I want this to be offset there. And I want it to feed that number in here. This math block will activate a pusher on a gate that exists right here. Oh, we could, we could perhaps do that a little bit better. Let's use a... Because the way the rails work, 
is a rail will always favor going in a straight line. So, we do something like this. The car will try to go this way. Because it... Just because it can. So what we want is a blocker. We'll plop that right there. Now, currently it's turned on. So this car won't take that route because it's not free. And it'll instead go this way. Um, I also want to make sure that I've got a pusher just so that... Uh, now it does actually matter which direction the cart takes when it's taking this bend. Um, uh, actually, uh, we can't have a pusher there because it'll always go around this loop. Um, oh, well, actually, no, because I, I haven't got a straight block there. Although it looks like I've got a straight block, I only have a curved block here. So it should work. Let's uh, let's have a look at that working, but uh, we'll see. Since it can't go this way, it'll go that way. But we might need to, to see that in action. It looks like it's a straight block, but it should actually just be two curved blocks. Yes, there we go. Perfect. However, we're not actually uh, storing any crystals. Why is that? Have we run out? Are we not uh, producing any right now? Oh, it's because we've recently used up a lot of blocks. That's fair. It'll take a little while. That gives me time to build the, the rail bridge that's going to lead down here. But since I know that we're only going to be taking this route very occasionally, I can be a little bit cheaper with this construction. Honestly, now that I know that we were going to have a uh, rail route at all, I probably wouldn't have built the uh, the bridge the way I did. I would have just had a single single one going down it. As in a, just a single tiled bridge. This was built with the idea that I'd want wagons going down and not getting blocked by each other, but oh well. This means we can have a bit more of a rickety bridge aesthetic going on. Oof, that is actually getting super, super steep now. Four, five. Let's pop this all the way down here. Make it look at least somewhat sturdy. <laughs> Otherwise, that's going to be awful. Hey, I just wanted to say thank you for the years of content I've watched you in my first days on YouTube. Thank you for helping me in bad times. Oh, you're welcome, Miami. I'm terribly sorry to hear that you had bad times that you needed help with, but uh, I'm very glad that I was able to help in some capacity. I will have a seven tile gap over here. Once again, every other one. Perfect. That actually does look quite nice, I think. You could probably have a couple of uh, niceties about it, though, as well. It's not quite the same as the other massive bridge we've built, but this will look quite nice, I think. Let's get all these in place. Whop. Decor, lampposts. Right, now, we just need to bring it down here and have it do a little bit of a loop outside. All we need from this. How do you guys think the bridge looks so far? I think I had one, two, three, four, five. There we go. 
That actually is perfectly positioned to avoid the uh, the red fire uh, the fire crystals. Very nice. I'm glad. There we go. Right, at this point I'm going to say we're going to want to start bringing it down ready to connect up down there. That's the main goal here. Ah, annoying, but oh well. Unless I play around a little bit and say that... Uh, more like this. Then we can have a nice meet in the middle sort of scenario. There we go. And from here it should just come straight out. Perfect. All right, I think we've got our rail set up. Almost. Honestly, with a tight loop like this, it's probably best for me to build it very specifically. There we go. All right. This should control that. Now I do need to reverse the block slightly. I need the uh, bool function to be not. Uh, oops. Because what happens here is I want the output from this. So is this less than 50? Yes. Then I want that blocker to be turned off in that instance. So on, off. There we go. Now we should see the cart, should it actually have any uh, crystals in it, which it does not. Ah, ha, ha, just in time. Marvelous, it's, it's, it's as if it knew. Oh, no, wait, it is actually full of things. Good. Uh, how's this doing? Ah, it's decent. We should see this swing by. There we are, as expected. I'll drop it off. These will start filling in. Now, I still need to gather fire crystals down here, but there we go. As soon as this has five, it should turn that off and it'll start filling in there instead. There we go. Exactly as desired. Now then, we need to actually deliver fire stones over here. Now, we could do that with a mine, and there's certainly uh, some logic to that. We could gather the fire stones over there and, and, and pack them and, and send them down here. But honestly, I think from here, if we can free up enough population to get a harvester drill, then that is the better option. So, let's find places which are probably slightly overpopulated. There we are. That's, that's freed up enough. Uh, one more than enough, actually, but I like having a spare one. Right, just deliver that for me, please. This harvester drill should be able to do all the work by itself and just carry it all back. There you go. And since that is still not less than 50, uh, still not uh, more than 50, it'll continue to request more to be set. Now, right now, every time this updates, that changes. What we can do with that is we can use a delta block. Now, what the delta block does is instead of that, you know, annoying blue light every time something gets assessed, it'll only cause a change, it cause a, a signal to be sent if the signal changes from what the previous was. Um, there we go. Now, we can't speed this up technically yet, um, but we can uh, move some fire crystals into, I guess, a barn for now. <laughs> I would say a barn rather than a silo. I'll pop that down there. You can rotate these though. 
It's one thing you can do despite not being able to move it yet. I think you can get it once you've got research for it, you can move it, but there we go. So fire crystals. We are now gathering our own fire crystals. Happiest, happiest of days. <laughs>